earth to appease God and to bring his mercy on us. Anytime we are fighting a battle that is beyond the human reach, we need God's intervention. And that is what we are doing. And the only way you can get God to intervene is when you praise him. Praise to God moves him to fight. Praise is his food. You know, when you talk about sacrifice, anytime people give a sacrifice, it's because they want either their deity or whoever to fight for them. And in our present situation, everybody is calling for divine intervention. And the only way we can get God to fight for us is for us to praise him. And that is instruction he gave us, that we should roam the land with praise because he wants to fight and give us peace. We need peace in our land to enable us to have a successful election. There is no greater country on earth that I know than this country. We should refuse to be distracted. Like the Arab man, the white people will love their country. Let us love our country. There is so much God has given us in this country. Quite frankly, even if you gave me the citizenship of another country, free of charge, I will reject it because there is no greater country than Nigeria. But you see, God has given us everything. It is for us to work out and make sure that those endowments that God has given us can be used for the betterment of all of us. There is enough for our needs, but there isn't enough for our greed in this country. We all were born with destinies. The scripture said, before you were born, I knew you in your mother's womb. What does that say? The journey from conception to death was already laid out. If you are contesting an election and you don't get it this time around, don't scatter the boat. Hold on. Perhaps it is that there is something greater for you in the future. Don't rock the boat. Support those who are there. Pray for them. Your time will come. We discovered that the country is no longer safe. The wisdom of our leaders has failed. Only person that can save this country today is, is God. Because uh, the situation is getting more terrible and terrible day by day. That is why we organize this press worship. And God said when we press him, he's going to fight for us. We are asking God here to fight for Nigerians. Uh, really, we should not allow ourselves to be divided on the angle of religion. Because the, the, the politicians, they are doing that to just set confusion among us. Vote the candidate you want. Whether he belongs to any religion is not your problem. But let's get a person that can lead this country and give us a new face of life. Whether it's from the south or from the north, from the east, we want somebody credible that will lead Nigeria from out of this challenge we are facing today.